They're a bunch of typical teenagers. I was a weird kid. Me and my dad don't have the best relationship. I've been bullied at least once here. With typical problems. Just because what you see them here is not how they are at home. But finding the answers isn't always easy. Kids like Marina Hartford, she is the sensitive kid. Can't stand all the callous and even cruel things her classmates sometimes do. You can just see their spirit just getting crushed, being, being let down. But today, these 100 kids from Clahowia School in Kitsap County are making a promise to help see each other through those tough times. Like our school could be the next Columbine, like that's how I feel right now. They're accepting Rachel's challenge to make their school a more loving and compassionate place and make sure another Columbine never happens here. My hopes for, for Clahowia and for other schools is that we can come together and be a family. The students have been through the Rachel's Challenge program here at their school. They've learned about fear, isolation, bullying. Now they're ready to change all that. It starts with a commitment to do random acts of kindness. This paper chain of good deeds already hundreds of links long, setting off a chain reaction of positive energy. It's like, oh, it's opening new doors. It's kind of giving people a new way to look at people, to talk to new people. Then community projects and acts of appreciation for those who often go unnoticed. We're hoping that it inspires students to be kind to one another. Perhaps most important though, students promise to take new or isolated classmates under their wings, letting them know that people care and they're not alone. For Marina, it's one big step closer to forming that extended family. One mean word, one mean look is hurts. One, one nice word, one smile. One wave can change everything. Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.